kids spend a tremendous amount of time playing. Um, that's when they do most of their real learning before they go to school, unfortunately. Um, but play actually has a very interesting role for kids. Because as you play like whack-a-mole, da, 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 you repeat this stuff over and over and over again, so it's kids do. They are actually building a frame to understand the world with. They come to frame the world through play. And then after they have built their frame, then they go to school and fill up the frame. So the construction of the frame comes to a large extent from play. But if we go back to the very beginning with this exponential infrastructure and these little tiny S-curves all happening faster and faster, guess what? We also ourselves have to find ways to reframe. What's the role of play in our own lives that help us drive that reframing? And once we do it, are we willing to do it the next year and the next year and next year? In fact, talk to serious CEOs, talk to even your entrepreneurs, and ask, you know, how often um, do they get out of their own comfort zone to do something really they know nothing about in order to experiment with reframing the world? And to tell you some beautiful stories about how, just how powerful that is. Um, but the point is that if we look at knowing, making, and playing, there is a common thread here and that is deep tinkering. And I want to argue that one of the essences of the entrepreneurial learner is the willingness to constantly tinker. And if you're willing to constantly tinker, you're not afraid of change, because you don't expect things to work. And when things don't work, that's just an opportunity to goof around some more, one way or another, to try to figure out how to make it work. Uh, and so the fear of change starts to be decreased the more you're actually willing to tinker. 